Hey, feeling good, like I should. When in Doku, walk around the neighborhood. What's up? It's your girl Shruti and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my transition journey from straight to curly hair. I already have a detailed video about my curly hair journey. If you want to check it out, I'll leave it in the i-card above. But a lot of you guys really wanted me to talk in detail about my transition journey. I get it because uh, I see a lot of DMs that you guys send me a lot of you guys are in your transition journey or you've just got your hair chemically straightened and you don't know what to do about it so this video is all about that i didn't want to put up this video early because i had some plans that i wanted to do but you guys screamed and i heard so yeah this video i'm putting out first because of you guys so yeah let's get started with the video Kaase start karu, kaase start karu. Okay, so I think I'll divide my uh, transition journey into phases. I think it will be much more easier for you guys to relate to it. So let's start with phase number one. Phase number one is if you're recently planning to get chemically hair straightening done, if you're planning to get rebounding, relaxing, uh, hair straightening basically names are unlimited but more or so does the same thing of chemically straightening your hair. So if you're planning to get it done, Consider these possibilities. I'm gonna uh, talk about the pros as well as cons about getting it done and then obviously this decision is ultimately yours but consider these pros and cons before going ahead and getting it done. Pros, I can only think about one thing is uh, when you get out of your bed in the morning you don't have to think about what do I have to do with my hair because it does not look good. Ye think King bilkul nahi aega. It will save a lot of time because of that. Because all you have to do is brush your hair and get out of the house. It every day it looks the same. So you don't really have to think about aaj kya karu mere baalon ke saath. That's the only pro I think about having chemically straightening done. Now let's talk about the cons of uh, getting it done. The first one is even if it does not look good in your mental health, you think it looks good because at least talking about me and my journey i always wanted straight hair and even it did didn't look good on me i still felt it did look good on me a lot uh, the reactions i got from people around me was mixed a lot of people were straight about it and were like hey it does not look good on you and a lot of people were like Okay, it looks good on you actually. It looks better than your natural hair. And maybe I discarded the negative ones and took the positive ones and I was like, okay, what? This looks good on me and I'm gonna rock this hair. But in reality, when I look back at those pictures, it genuinely didn't look good on me at all. And thank you for the people who are actually brutally honest to me about uh, the way it looked on me your natural hair will obviously any day any time will look much 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 more better on you than getting it done the second is see you have you have a um, image about what your hair will look like if you uh, get it natural like chemically straightening done I wanted it to look like the way you blow dry your hair that voluminous uh, blow dried hair uh, mein wo picture tha ki I want it to look like that and I thought chemically straightening done so I'll just inform her or him that I image this is what I want to get it done but it doesn't work like that chemically straightening hair means flat from top to bottom like pin straight hair there is no movement it's just straight hair uh, and it looks completely different from your blow dried hair, from your even flat straightened hair, it looks so 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 different because aapka jo roots hota hai, it goes like this and when you chemically straighten your hair, it goes like this. There's a huge difference in volume. The third point is volume. Huge 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 difference. Oh my god, I can't even start. Um, when I uh, like didn't do any bullshit to my hair, my hair was so so voluminous this is nothing this is nothing my hair was this huge this huge before and when i should tie a ponytail uh, like do round me it used to cover up the whole that ponytail 
बट आफ्टर आई गॉड इट स्ट्रेट इन थ्री टू फोर टाइज भी अगर किया तो भी इट इज़ टू नॉट सफाइज इट हैड बिकम दैट थिन जस्ट बाई स्ट्रेटनिंग इट ओके बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली वेन इट्स कर्ली इट्स बिग एंड इट्स वोल्यूमिनस एंड फ्रॉम दैट यू गो फ्रॉम दैट बिग है टू स्ट्रेट है बहुत बड़ा डिफरेंस होता है वो एंड वॉल्यूम में बहुत आपको फील होगा कि ओ माई गॉड वहाँ से मैं यहाँ पर आ गई हूँ एंड इट्स सो स्ट्रेट एंड इट्स अ लिटल बिट ऑफ अ शॉक एंड आई आई एम नॉट इवन काउंटिंग बट आई एम जस्ट रिकॉलिंग वट एवर आई वेंट थ्रू एम जस्ट सेंग इट एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज हेयरफॉल I I I can bet you each and every one who has got chemical straightening done has gone through the hair fall stage as well because you're putting chemicals in your hair no matter what other people are gonna say uh, while you're sitting in that chair is like you know what it's not gonna harm your hair it's ammonia free it's this free it's that free it's gonna it's gonna hurt your hair it's gonna do everything that you expect a chemical to do on your hair and when you talk about chemically straightening your hair you're breaking your hair bonds and you're permanently doing it uh, permanently straightening your hair that means it's not gonna go back i get a lot of dms girls asking me oh i recently got it done what do i do i don't like it i want to go back what should i do the only answer to that is chopping your hair off so think about when you get your hair straightening done uh hair loss is a major 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 factor why i wanted to go from straight to curly hair because i legit thought i would not have hair left on my head if i keep doing this i could see my scalp like do you see my scalp anymore no that's because i have natural hair now but when i got it straightened i got it straightened a lot of times the first time and uh two or three times i touched it up the roots and i could literally see my scalp that's how much i lost i lost a lot of hair and it was really really stressful and i was going through a phase where i was really stressed out about studies and about a lot of things and that played i think that also played a role in my hair fall but chemical straightening se bahut hi zyada baal jhadte hai i would highly not recommend getting it done because you again going to go through that same cycle of transition and going through natural phase just skip all that if you have not got it done let it remain like that and embrace your natural hair there are tons of other reasons why you shouldn't get it done but i think these uh, the points that i pointed out is good enough for you to decide not to get it done so yeah uh, i think let's move on to phase number 2 the phase number 2 is if you have recently got it done and when i mean recently you've just got your first treatment done it's still fresh no uh, hair growth nothing uh, if you are in that phase i'll say enjoy it abhi paise already dal chuke ho you have already invested in it so i would say enjoy it till at last uh, and take care of your hair a lot uh, mere time pe jab maine baal straightening kiye the uh, i really didn't think about it ki oh mujhe shampoo bhi dusra lena padega mujhe hair spa bhi karna padega all i wanted was straight hair and literally that's exactly what i did maine sirf aur sirf parlor mein jaake ek bar chemical uh straightening karwaya tha uske baad i didn't maintain it at all i i don't think i even used to use conditioner that time i used to use only shampoo and that to sulfate wala that means it stripped my natural hair my natural sebum my hair was dry but straight that's all uh kuch shiny tha it basically didn't have life anymore it was just dead straight hair that's all i had and i was not taking care of it i was in college pocket money itna nahi hota ki main har mahine ja ke hair spa karao aur uh, you know costly costly hair cosmetic uh, hair cosmetic wow hair products use karu to get my hair to look a little bit little bit better so if you are planning to get it done or if you have got it done remember that it's an investment aap logo ko sirf uh, jab aap hair straightening karwa rahe ho tabhi paise nahi dalne hain Uh, तब तो पैसे जाएंगे थाउजेंड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स और रुपीज़ टू गेट इट डन सेकेंड इज यू हैव टू कीप गेटिंग इट डन वेन योर हेयर नेचुरली ग्रोज द रूट ऑफ इट ऑब्वियसली 
आपके जो बाल लेंथ आप स्ट्रेटनिंग कराओगे वो तो स्ट्रेट रहेंगे ही दैट ओनली दैट पार्ट इज परमानेंट बट द है दैट ग्रोज फ्रॉम योर रूट वो हमेशा कली ही रहने वाले और वट एवर योर नेचुरल हेयर टाइप इज इट्स गोन रिमेन द सेम इट्स नॉट गोन बी कि रूट से भी वैसे ही बाल निकलेंगे तो जब आपके नेचुरल बाल ग्रो होंगे यू हैव टू कीप डूइंग इट ओवर एंड ओवर अगेन अगेन दैट्स एन इन्वेस्टमेंट सेकेंड इज यू हैव टू इन्वेस्ट इन शैम्पू एंड कंडीशनर्स एज वेल आई वुड हाईली रिकमेंड इफ यू हैव गॉट इट डन टू स्पीक टू योर हेयर स्टाइलिस्ट अबाउट द शैम्पू एंड कंडीशनर यू शुड बी यूजिंग एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई थिंक ही शुड बी द बेस्ट पर्सन टू आंसर दैट फॉर यू गाइज एंड लेट मी टेल यू गाइज चीप नहीं होते वो शैम्पू एंड कंडीशनर्स जस्ट कीप इन माइंड एंड आई थिंक यू कैन गो फॉर सल्फ्रीड फ्री शैम्पूज एंड कंडीशनर्स Uh, I would not recommend you guys to go with the gel and the leave-in conditioner as well. I I think you can go ahead with the leave-in serum, like a little bit oil-based serum for the shine. But if you have straight hair, you don't really need a gel and a leave-in conditioner and stuff. So invest in a good shampoo and conditioner to maintain what you naturally or like whatever is remaining on your scalp. Uh, and the third part, I would say, uh, get regular hair spas. And when I mean regular. just do it once in a month if you really have that budget or uh, once in 3 months bhi chalega depending on your hair aur uska health ke hisab se you have to take care of it otherwise your hair is going to go for a toss for sure like minded uh, that's why that's the reason i really wanted to put this video out because maine bahut sare mistakes kiye hai when i had my hair uh, chemically straightened and a lot of things that i should have done which i didn't do That's why ये video के जरिए I want to make sure that people who have got it done, please take care of your hair. Uh, I think natural hair growth के लिए and whatever is remaining, you have to make sure that your hair is in a good condition. So my best advice for people who are in phase number टू is to take good care of your hair. Regular chops करते रहना hair spa लेते रहना For shampoo and conditioner, consult your hair stylist what you should be uh, putting on your hair. And basically take good care of your hair, hair and uh, enjoy it while it last now let's move on to phase number 3 now phase number 3 mein you finally realize ki aapko abhi aur straight bald nahi chahiye you want to transition from straight hair to your natural curly hair now in this phase the reason why i wanted to transition from straight to curly hair was hair loss i was losing shit amount of hair and i was literally scared that i'm going to go bald if i do not stop that's the major reason why i wanted to switch from straight to curly hair and the major question that is going to be in front of you is to go for a big chop or chop it off gradually now it totally depends on you if you want to go option number 1 that is chop it all off just make sure that you're comfortable with short hair and if you can basically rock your hair and you will be comfortable with it i wasn't i generally don't like my hair short i have had my fair share of short hair and it basically does not look good on me so i knew that i don't want to go that route but if you are comfortable with short hair and you're sick of your straight uh damaged hair go for it go for a big chop now if you want to take the route that i did what i uh did was basically decide a length now for me it was this length so iske niche kuch bhi grow hota tha i would chop it all off i kept a um, timeline of 3 months so basically every 3 months i chopped it off little by little basically keeping a um, hair length of this much so that at least basic hair styles i will basic kuch to kar pao mere baalon ke sath mein and obviously it started growing and i kept chopping it off little by little and this method will take a long time basically depends on your hair growth agar aapka hair growth bahut sahi hai bahut jaldi hair grow hote hai it will take i would say one year to grow all your natural hair back but when it comes to my case it took me two years to grow naturally pura bal and obviously it totally depends on you aap logo ka kitna time lagta hai for me it was two years now the second question is how do i hide my natural growth because there will be a time जब आपके बाल हाफ कर्ली होंगे लाइक अराउंड टिल हियर और हियर ऑब्वियसली वाई यूर ट्रांजिशनिंग इट विल कीप ग्रोइंग डाउन एंड डाउन एंड यू विल हैव द एंड्स आर स्ट्रेट एंड एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दैट इज नॉट रियली अ कूल लुक टू रॉक लाइक हाफ कर्ली एंड हाफ स्ट्रेट इफ यू आर इन टू दैट गो हेड एंड डू दैट बट आई लर्न अ बंच ऑफ हेयर स्टाइल्स दैट आई कैन डू बेसिकली कवरिंग माई हेयर अप 
transition wise like itna 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 i learned a lot of hair styles in that point of time and that was a savior and helped me to transition without using heat on my hair so i would highly recommend you guys to learn a bunch of hair styles i i'm thinking about doing a hair style just for the transition uh, girls who are transitioning and sharing my hair styles that i used to do during that phase so it will help you guys as well let me know in the comments down below if you want that video so i'll upload it quickly for you guys now there will be times where you don't want to do the hair styles and you genuinely want to leave your hair ye time pe the best thing that i used to do is to do those um, heatless overnight curls i don't know how to do straight hair heatless way don't even ask me i didn't learn but curls mujhe karne aata tha heatless way mein without using any rolling that iron and stuff without using that you can actually do it heatless way i learned a bunch of ways to do it let me know if you want a tutorial on that to do heatless curly hair now let's talk about the shampoos and conditioners that i used so i used the tresemme shampoo and the tresemme conditioner the black bottle with green i don't remember the name but tresemme ka conditioner and shampoo use kar rahi thi main and that's what i used throughout my transition phase wasn't a good idea but for people who are transitioning i would highly recommend you guys to use a uh, sulfate free shampoo uh, basically the junk free shampoo and conditioner when you are transitioning i don't really think you guys need the leave in conditioner and gel because aapke length jo majority length hai wo straight honge and you do need to detangle those hair as well because straight hair do get tangled a lot especially the ones uh, the straightened hair do get tangled a lot at least once a day detangle karna apne walon ko and use a shampoo and a conditioner get used to the sulfate free uh, and that silicone free shampoo and conditioner range i'd highly recommend you guys to do that so i would say agar aapka bal majority of your hair is curly now and only little bit is remaining i'll say start training your curls and the best way to do is to finger coil your curls and at this point of time you do need a shampoo a conditioner a leave in a uh, conditioner it can be a leave in conditioner a leave in serum a leave in cream whatever suits your hair go for it and a gel a good hold gel to train your curls to because kya hota hai na aapke baal itne टाइम से स्ट्रेट रहे हैं एंड देन इट स्टार्ट ग्रोइंग नेचुरली की ब्रशिंग योर हेयर बेसिकली दे डोंट नो नाउ हाउ टू कर्ल अप और यू नीड टू ट्रेन योर हेयर हाउ यू वॉन्ट इट टू लुक लाइक दैट्स हाउ यू गोना गेट द रिजल्ट सो स्टार्टिंग में वैन आई स्टार्टेड नाउ फॉर मी इट्स गोन बी अ लेटर स्टोरी बट फॉर यू गाइज यू नीड टू स्टार्ट नाउ इफ यू हैव मेजोरिटी ऑफ योर कर्ल्स ग्रोन आउट स्टार्ट योर कर्ली गर्ल मेथड नाउ शैम्पू एंड कंडीशन योर हेयर वॉश इट ऑफ and then uh, when you put on the leave in conditioner i would highly recommend you guys to section it off and work section by section jo leave in conditioner aap use kar rahe hoge work section by section and take like a inch or so amount of hair and start uh, finger coiling it एंड जो डरेक्शन में आपके बाल नेचुरली कर्ल हो रहे होंगे वही डरेक्शन में आप फिंगर कॉल करना इट विल बी मच मोर इजी फॉर योर हेयर टू अडेप्ट एज वेल अगर आप ऑपोजिट डरेक्शन में कर्ल करोगे तो इट विल जस्ट बी फ्रिजी एंड डोंट नो वेयर टू गो काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन सो सी आपके नेचुरल बाल कहाँ कर्ल हो रहे हैं एंड देन हेल्प इट विद योर फिंगर्स टू कर्ल उस डरेक्शन में पूरे बालों को फिंगर कॉल करना उसके बाद यूज सम जेल टू होल्ड दैट हेयर इन और जो ऑब्वियसली एंड के बाल यू कैन ट्राई टू स्क्रंच बट डज इन वर्क इट विल स्टिल बी स्ट्रेट अगर आपको ये करना है देन यू कैन गो अहेड और यू कैन वेट ऑफ दैट्स वॉट आई डिड बिकॉज आई डिट न्यू अबाउट सी जी अगर आपको पूरे बाल कर्ली uh, होने के बाद ही आपको सी जी मैथ स्टार्ट करना है इट्स योर चॉइस सो टू सम इट अप माई बेस्ट एडवाइस फॉर पीपल हु आर इन फेज नंबर थ्री इज टू डिसाइड ऑन योर चॉप वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू चॉप इट ऑल ऑफ और गो ग्रेजुअली लाइक आई डिड और लर्न अ बंच ऑफ हेयर स्टाइल्स इफ यू आर गोइंग द सेकेंड वे देन यू हैव टू लर्न अ बंच ऑफ हेयर स्टाइल्स एंड द हीटलेस कर्ल मेथड 
अगर आपको हीटलेस स्ट्रेट करने वाला मेथड भी पता होगा देन मोर देन गुड आई डोंट नो अबाउट इट बट आई नो अबाउट द हीटलेस कर्ल मेथड आई एम गोन पुट अ बंच ऑफ वीडियोज अबाउट द हेयर स्टाइल दैट आई टू डू ड्यूरिंग माई ट्रांजेक्शन फेज एंड ऑल्सो द हीटलेस कर्ल मेथड इट्स नॉट ओनली हेल्प यू गैस बट ऑल्सो द गर्ल्स हु हैव स्ट्रेट हेयर एंड विश टू हैव कर्ल हेयर हीटलेस वे से आप कर सकते हो सो दैट्स गोना हेल्प अ बंच ऑफ यू गैज एज वेल लर्न अ लॉर्ड ऑफ हेयर स्टाइल दैट्स गोना हेल्प यू सर्वाइव मैन दैट्स रियली really important again shampoo and conditioners and leave in uh conditioners and gel start experimenting with it this is only going to be better once you start experimenting with it no one is going to be able to tell you guys ki ye conditioner kaam karega ye shampoo kaam karega se nahi hota hai har ek ka baal alag hota hai har ek ka scalp type alag hota hai type of hair sab alag hai so a product might work for me or may not work for you or may work for you that's for you to decide so you have to start a uh, trial and error ki ye work kar raha hai to you know basically that's what you need to do so that's it for today's video you guys if you enjoyed my video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and hit the bell notification bell do all that good stuff and if you are going through your transition phase don't forget to comment down below i would love to know which phase are you in and if this video helped you guys in any way or form don't forget to share this video with your friends with your family just share it with everyone you know because that's that might help them okay and yeah that's all for today's video i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye i had a dream we were sipping whiskey need highest floor the bowery and i was high in Spider-Man's control and Batman with his fists. And clearly, I don't see myself upon that man, upon that man.